Okay, I'm back again with some solar system updates. I'll be going through all of my systems, solar system number one through four, and just show you guys what I've changed around with them. So starting off with solar system number one, the original system, uh, this has the 125 amp hour deep cycle marine battery, the Everstar Max Group 29, 875 cold cranking amp, 875 cranking amps, 675 cold cranking amps. Uh, this is the one working off of 70 watts. Right now it's only getting 40 watts because one of the panels is defective. My new 50 watt panel turned out to only give me about an amp worth of power. Uh, when I first got it, you know, it was at night and the next couple of days were really like stormy and overcast. So couldn't really get any good readings then. But, you know, I finally got a sunny day and found that it was defective so I have put in a replacement order it's not going to cost me anything uh, they're just sending out the free replacement I have to send the old one back so moving on to system number two this is the mini system works off of an old 5 amp hour battery does not have a charge controller just has 12 watts of solar coming directly into the battery never overcharge the system because I do drain it down to about 12 volts daily and it brings it up to at most between 13.8 and 14.2 volts without a charge controller it never overcharges thanks to the uh, way I have the panels positioned they're not exactly in the right spot for you know the best sunlight per day which works out perfectly for me because I don't have to buy a charge controller for it uh, the system works great. There's really no updates on it. It's just been performing great since the day I built it. And hopefully it continues to work great. So system number three, if you guys follow my videos, you can see a big upgrade here. I now have a second deep cycle marine battery that's flooded lead acid. If you didn't know, uh, the previous battery was a 28 amp hour AGM deep cycle battery. And the difference between them is the capacity. This one's rated for 105 amp hours, so I get a lot more capacity out of it. And honestly, you're not really getting that much. You're only getting maybe about 52.5 amp hours out of it since these batteries can only be discharged down to 50%. But you know, that's more than enough to run my 20 watt CFL through my inverter uh, for you know pretty much overnight and on into the morning it can run for a much longer time but I usually run multiple things like my little 12 volt fan charge my laptop and stuff like that and again it still runs overnight with no problem so solar system number four I don't think I did a video on that because I plain old forgot when I was uh, videotaping it's this little power pack slash radio uh, has two sides you turn it to the side right here is a radio and turn it to the other side it's a power pack and it's being charged by a homemade one watt solar panel I made out of some recycled solar light cells solar panel just comes in through this barrel plug and charges this power pack up to about 13.5 volts every day and I do run the radio about six hours and it still fully charges it uh, this power pack runs off of two 2.8 amp hour 6 volt batteries running in series. I'm thinking about switching those out with my two 12 volt 2.8 amp hour batteries of the same size, running these in parallel for more capacity. But so far, I haven't had a problem with the 6 volt batteries. They run a very, very long time with the radio, which is pretty much what I use this for. But up here, we have a 12 volt DC socket, plugging in cell phone chargers automotive style fuse we have a 75 watt power inverter and we have switches for everything this one is to recharge the rechargeable flashlight on the side there and this one's to switch on the power inverter and a uh, little rechargeable flashlight just comes out you can use it, it has a little emerging a little emergency flasher and also a, a flashlight bulb one of the LEDs are kind of dying out but you know still works it's a good flashlight so that's pretty much it on the solar updates definitely check back next week I should have the new 50 watt panel unboxed and set up hopefully that's putting out the correct current 
and also some reviews that I've been sort of putting on the back burner like my Algen 7 inch portable TV review, my Eden FR250 shortwave emergency radio review, and I also have a Energizer rechargeable flashlight review that I've been keeping on the back burner so check back for those later but in the meantime uh, what I'm going to be doing the next week or so is desulfating all my little power packs my AGM batteries even my lead acid batteries to sort of recondition them uh, get a little bit more capacity and performance out of them and of course I'll be using my Stanley uh, battery charger which has the desulfator built into it in fact I'm working on the 28 amp hour battery right now if you can hear that uh high-pitched the saw fader noise out of it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely check back later for those other update videos and i'll see you guys later peace